Welcome back to another Celtic Spotlight here on the Carlos Sports Network. I'm Sean Myers, now joined by a senior on the women's soccer team, Alexis Schwab. Thank you for taking the time to do this today. Of course. Now let's talk about the start of the season because it was a good one for you in particular. You had two goals and an assist, or excuse me, a goal and two assists, four points against Oakland City. When you look at that performance, how important was it to get off to a good start? Um, I think I kind of had to prove something to myself this year because last year I didn't score as many goals as I did my first year here and I think that was just related to um, just being marked more and having more attention on me because I was kind of a surprise the first year. So um, I think that just proving to myself that I was like still in the condition I needed to be to play, it was huge. That said, you still led the team in both goals and points in each of the last two years. So what are some of your key assets that allow you to have that success? Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the position I play. Obviously, I am up top more, so I have more opportunities to score. Um, I think another thing is that I'm not afraid to shoot, and I think that's that's something that we need to work on as a team. Is a lot of people will like question whether or not they should shoot the ball, and I'm never afraid to shoot. I'll shoot literally anywhere. Getting on the scoring sheet certainly important for you, but what's maybe an underrated aspect of your play? Um, I think. This year, maybe not so much, but in past years, um, my fitness, I do put a lot of time in. I, um, I'm very strong on the ball. I do do a lot of weightlifting and running outside of the season. So I would say like my, just my physical fitness, I do a lot of times play 90 minutes. So that's like a huge thing. And I don't think a lot of people think about that whenever they talk about how you're playing. It's like there's so much endurance that has to be built up. I'm sure a lot of that work is done during the off season for you to be right. in that type of shape. This was a very unusual off season. For what were sure. some of the challenges with that? Um, I didn't have access to a gym like I would in the past, so I think um, it was hard. I had to find kind of creative ways to um, just get keep my strength up. Um, and another thing was running and just getting a field to practice on was very hard because everything was closed off. I usually go to a field to train, but. They weren't really letting people on because of COVID. So just finding creative ways to keep up with my fitness, keep up with my ball skills and my strength. You're a senior. I'm sure that you've taken on more of a leadership role. How has that part of your game evolved? Um, I think that on the field, I've always been considered more of a leader. So I don't think um, on the field much has changed. I think it's more off the field. I've kind of taken on a role just like being there for the team, doing things like getting food prepped and like stuff like that. So I just feel like more of a mom this year, even though I don't act like one, but that's what I feel like. Do you actually cook food for the no, team? No, okay. just like ordering food and getting everything prepared and like sorting things out. It's not like what I'm used to doing, so. Fair enough. I'm not much of a cook myself, so <laughs> I understand. Uh, a lot of newcomers on this team. For sure. Who, who have impressed you so far? Um, I really like Sarah Orndoff. I think she does really well in the center of the field. Um, I think she's very calm in the ball. Um, Amber Biros, she's, um, she did start our first game, so she did really well in the back, and she just has a lot of composure under the ball, which is very rare to find in any player at a college level, but especially from an incoming freshman. That's really cool. We mentioned your team got off to a good start. You got off to a good start as well, but what goals do you have individually and team-wise for the rest of the season? Um, personally for me, being my senior year, I'm not really worried about who scores as long as we're scoring. Um, I think in the past it was kind of like proving myself, proving to the team that I could be the one to score, but now I just want to see us win and just go as far as possible. So individually, I actually want to get more assists this year just because of the position I'm playing, I'm kind of dropping back into a more midfielder role. So I think that it's more important for me to assist other people and just like kind of build other people's confidence for the years going forward, the people who will be here in the coming years. Getting two assists in the first match is a pretty good start to that right, goal, yeah. I would say. Uh, what has been your favorite moment with Carlos soccer to this point? My favorite moment was um, whenever we played Point Park uh, my first year here, and it was like a huge rivalry game, and I didn't really know much about it since I wasn't on the team in the past, but we won that game, and it was the senior night, and it was just super exciting for everybody. You mentioned not being here in the past. You came by way of Kent State, and you didn't get to play soccer there. So how did your time away from the sport make you appreciate it all the more? Um, whenever I graduated high school, I kind of got burned out of it a little bit. I didn't really want to play in college. Um, I just didn't have the motivation and then taking the time off seeing my friends who were still playing soccer just like instilled in me like how much I love the game and how much I missed it so I'm really glad that we're getting to play this year for my senior year I would have been devastated if we wouldn't have got to play so it just made me appreciate the more fun aspect of the game and the relationships I can have with my teammates. 
you played under the head coach Alan Duda in your time at Carlo. What are some of his best qualities? Um, the best thing about Coach Duda is that he is so understanding of the fact that we are college athletes, and I know that's like something that's very underrated. So a lot of schools, like you can't be a nursing major if you are playing a sport, but he really gives us the opportunity to do both. And he's very understanding and just like, he builds a relationship with us to let us know that like he's there for us. I think you maybe just alluded to it, but what is your major? What would be an ideal future profession for you? Um, I am a nursing major. So my plan for when I graduate is to um, do travel nursing for a little bit and then I want to be a psychiatric nurse practitioner eventually. Any city in particular you'd love to visit? Oh man, there's a lot. I want to go to Colorado. I'd like to spend some time in Alaska, go back to Hawaii, um, spend some time in like Seattle or Portland. So I kind of want to go out west. California, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. The cost of living up there is a little That's, much for me. That so. is true. That is true. Do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions? I'm very particular with my stretching routine, um, just making sure that I do like certain number of runs, certain number of like the way I stretch. But other than that, I don't really do anything. I don't like to be superstitious because then I get too much in my head before I play. So it's like if I wore these socks last game and I don't wear them, it just causes too much confusion for me. So I try not to be superstitious. You at least you wash the socks. I do, okay. usually. That's a yes, good I do usually wash the socks. You never know a superstition. Yeah, no, so. you really don't. What has been uh, your favorite college class, Carlo? Uh, definitely psych. I love psych so much, so yeah, for sure. You attended Freedom High School. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite memory there? Um, the year, the first year we made it to States, which was my sophomore year. Nobody was expecting it because my freshman year we won like a handful of games. We weren't very good. And then we went to States my sophomore year and we made it to like the Whippeal finals we were like we got second place so it was just like a huge shock to everybody that like we were even like considered to play there. I, I would assume that a lot of people basically from March until maybe June or July had a lot of time to watch movies and TV shows. Yeah. Is there any that you can basically recite every line to? Um, I did over quarantine. I watched The Vampire Diaries. I wouldn't say I know every line to it. If I had to pick like a movie, I know every word to White Chicks. That's like one of my favorite movies from when I was little. So Truly a classic. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, uh, I'll give you a little time to think about it if need be. Do you have a, a, a kind of a hidden talent or maybe a little known fact about you? Um, I don't know if I necessarily have hidden talents, but I love to lift. I like spend all my free time in the gym weightlifting. So um, I feel like most of my team knows that. Um, yeah, so that's what's, what's your favorite workout then? I love back workouts. Back. Lat pull down, seated yeah, rows. Back day is my favorite. I love to deadlift. Like I just love back day. Certainly, that's a good a good way to get ready for a soccer season, right. no doubt. Well, we appreciate the time. Thank you so much, and good luck the rest of your senior year. Thank you for having me. That is Alexis Schwab, a senior for the Celtics here on the Celtics Spotlight.